Hey all, welcome back to another hands-on exercise. Uh, this one is going to be about creating queues in Genesis Cloud. Um, you can see I'm already logged into my Genesis Cloud instance. So that's where you're gonna be. Uh, make sure you do have administrative credentials. That way you can create this queue. Um, but this is gonna be a quick, uh, a quick one, probably two, three minutes, maybe five. Uh, but we'll get through this pretty quick on creating a queue. So first step is you can either search for queues in here um, or you can, it's under contact center, you can select queues. And the list of queues come up and go ahead and create one. Right hand side, it, uh, another thing comes up here. So we're just gonna go uh, inbound test queue. Obviously, if you have something else you'd like to use, you can use that. Uh, you can copy a settings from and members from another queue. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and do that, but it will just copy the, the settings and members over. So hit save. The next thing is it, it pulls up the tabs uh, for the different settings that you can configure in here. So obviously description. Um, this is after call work, whether you want mandatory time box, um, mandatory time box, no early exit. Mandatory time box and time box no early exit is pretty much there's a set amount of time that they have uh, for just time box. They're able to, once they clear out the interaction, go back on queue. If it's no early exit, they have to wait that allotted number of seconds. Um, mandatory discretionary, discretionary really gives it up, it leaves it up to them when they can go back on queue, uh, that kind of thing. You can enable, enable manual assignment, which that's covered in a different course altogether. So we'll review that then. Uh, routing, uh, this just is based around skills. You'll add the members. So for this instance, you might add yourself. Uh, let me go ahead and add me. That way I'm able to oh, add user, sorry. Add user and then look and then add selected. And then there you go. I've added myself. Wrap up codes, uh, voice. None of this really needs to be touched uh, because this is just going to be for us uh, applying this to the uh, to the call flows as they come through. So you can go ahead and hit save. And that essentially is the setup of a queue. It's going to go back into the queue section. Um, if you do have extra time, maybe go in and, and configure different queues. You can play with the different routing methods and wrap-up codes and whatever. If you want to add wrap-up codes, feel free. Uh, this course won't go over wrap-up codes or any of that. Uh, we have a different course that we'll, we'll be setting up for that piece. Um, just remember the goal of this exercise, just make yourself comfortable in creating the queues, understand um, the different different settings around those queues. Uh, and if you make mistakes, no worries. This is, we're just testing this out. It can always be deleted. It always can be reconfigured. Um, but yeah, play around with that and um, good luck. Thanks.